Hello and welcome to this important update for TVET lecturers. I'm Gan Krishna from Macmillan and I would like to tell you about the brand new TVET First Electrotechnics N6 Students Book and Lectures Guide for Implementation in 2021. These books are approved by the DHET for implementation of the new curriculum in 2021. Colleges must ensure that they have the latest textbooks to teach the correct curriculum and prepare students for the exam. Look out for the revised curriculum 2021 logo on the books. Let's begin with an overview of the changes. There have not been many fundamental changes to this curriculum for 2021. The curriculum has been broken down into weighted modules. Learning outcomes have been numbered and learning content has been listed in more detail. Seven of the modules in the old curriculum have now been reorganized into five modules in the revised curriculum. Lecturers of the subject will know that modules 6 to 10 from the old syllabus and some learning outcomes from the other modules have not been examined in a long time. These outcomes have been removed completely from the 2021 syllabus. Many learning outcomes which were not explicitly listed in the old syllabus but were regularly tested in examinations have now been included in the curriculum. A new learning outcome on the PRONI brake efficiency test has been added to the DC machine module. New learning outcomes on starting synchronous motors and characteristics and applications of synchronous motors have been added. Short transmission lines are now covered in N5 rather than in N6. The author of TVET First, Electrotechnics N6, Sunil Chaturgun, is a past N6 national chief mark and examiner. He has provided relevant examples and effective activities which specifically target issues that students struggle with. Let's take a look at how TVET First deals with some difficult sections of the curriculum. The book has a unique method of constructing and interpreting circle diagrams. TVET First is the only electrotechnics textbook that uses this excellent teaching approach which has received immense positive feedback. The circle diagram section includes the complete step-by-step -step procedure for constructing circle diagrams, including steps for preparing the graph paper. There are lots of worked examples with accompanying diagrams which illustrate the steps of constructing circle diagrams and how they should appear when sketched on graph paper. For each formula, the variables and usage are explained in a table. Energy flow in a three-phase induction motor is also a difficult section for students. TVET first provides an energy flow diagram to explain energy losses to give an outline of the calculations. The book highlights important points for students to remember when doing three-phase induction motor calculations. Formula boxes show which formula should be used in different situations and the variables are defined in detail. Speed control of DC motors is a challenging part of the electrotechnics for both N5 and N6. This section has not changed very much. TVET first makes this topic easier by using numerous worked examples of speed control to explain the concepts. The worked examples are based on exam type questions. The speed control section also includes problems involving the following conditions. Where current drawn from the mains remain unchanged, where ohmic voltage drops are negligible, and situations where the flux suddenly changes. TVET First also provides an excellent teaching resource for electrical and mechanical degrees, which must be understood by all students in both Electrotechnics N5 and N6. Other features that you will love include an easy to use list of abbreviations and symbols. These are used throughout the Electrotechnics course. An exam tip feature which helps students avoid common mistakes. Each module has a summative activity which helps students prepare for the exam and the lecturer's guide includes marking guidance for all activities. Choose the best support available for this curriculum implementation. Choose TVET first.